stepping into the ring is none other than Chris Reed. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Chris Reed Beats, back with another live stream. Uh, I'm in my kitchen right now. The studio is right up in there. Today on this episode, if you guys are joining us, if you're watching, if you're watching live, if you're watching on the replay, we're going to start the stream a little different because I got to get some food ready. I got to do some cooking tonight. It's my, it's my night to cook. Uh, so I got to cook something up. Let me make sure y'all can hear me. Oh, yeah, y'all can hear me. But don't trip. This is a little portable version that I've made for the show. But um, I'm going to cook something up. So I'm going to make some chicken thighs with some veggies, some broccoli. You know what I'm saying? Some broccoli, some carrots. Try to be a little, a little healthier. Um, some brown rice. Boil some brown rice. And, uh, yeah, have a good little dinner. Hope you guys are, are good. If you're in here in the chat, if you're watching live, you know what I'm saying? Let me know you're in here. Let me know. Let me feel the love. Um, but other than that, there will be music. There will be music. And there might be a special guest. There might be a special guest. I ain't going to get my hopes up. But if that guest come through, then it should be a pretty dope stream when it comes time for the music. But for right now, we can go ahead and just get this get this food rocking, start the preparations for that. And yeah, man, so freaking today, Uber Eats is like mass flow, uh, did not do good. Um, I was telling everybody on the last stream that my primary like money right now um, is coming from Uber Eats. So every day I go out there, I'm on chicken right here. Every day I go out there, I'm just loosening up the chicken right now, getting it out the package. I do cook like a dude, you know what I'm saying? So if you're looking for a chef, you ain't going to find one. But we're going to get them. We're going to get these chicken thighs popping. Um, but yeah, man, it was not a good day for Uber Eats. I pretty much started my day by going to get my car serviced. I had to get an oil change. I had to uh, check that out, make sure that was good to go. So I did that. Get my little bowl right here for this chicken, for these chicken thighs. Let me rinse this off. Yeah, so I started off by um, getting my oil change and everything like that. And then... After I got my oil changed, I got a car wash. Pretty, pretty smooth. I pretty much started my day, um, but it was slow, man. I had a Walmart order. I was freaking at Walmart for like an hour. If you are like starting off, or if you think about getting into it, don't do stuff like that. If something is gonna take, you know, a long time for you to be able to deliver it, probably should just back out, cancel it, and just, you know what I'm saying, move on. But for me, I kind of felt like, all right, you know, it's early. I can, you know, I ain't tripping about, you know what I'm saying, waiting a little longer right now for today because it was a little earlier, so I wasn't tripping. So I got my water. Got my water on the boil. That's boiling. We got our chicken right here. We got to do some seasoning. We got to get some stuff so we're gonna go with some lemon pepper i got some lemon juice we got some dash table blend a little bit of garlic salt not a whole lot regular seasoned salt and yeah man we're gonna mix this up we're gonna make it look good what's going on tasia hope you're having a good day hope you're ready for this food 
when I finish cooking it, you know, getting it, we're gonna get it popping right now. I'm make sure my hands are clean before I start touching stuff, touching chicken and things. Oh yeah, man, so slow day. Had Walmart, somebody was getting groceries. After the groceries, I'll probably cut this out for the, for the replay. But um, we're gonna go ahead and throw some of this lemon juice. Get the lemon juice all on the chicken. That's plenty. And um, let me see what other orders did I have. I had like I had like a, I was in the Cerritos area today, so I had some pho. Went and got some pho. Pho tasty. I had Jumbo Walk off of Pioneer. Uh, no Starbucks today. No Chipotle today. No Chick Fil A today. Um, yeah. And I would contribute that to like, hey, yeah, that's why I was a little slower because a lot of those places tend to be places where I get a lot of orders and not a lot of those orders today. So a lot slower. Lots lower. All right, I make sure I put my brown rice, put my brown rice up in there, up in that thing. And yeah, man, I'm just tossing these seasonings up in here. I'm just tossing these seasonings. It's about eight pieces of chicken thigh. So we're being generous. We're being generous. Right. Loosen up this lemon pepper. It's all up in there. Trying to see what else is popping. So, so yeah, super slow day and whatnot. You ready to head out? All right, for sure, for sure. Well, it'll probably be a, a minute before the food is ready. But you know, we get the get the chicken up in there and everything. I went live in case our special guest came. We are gonna do some music. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll let y'all see what the chicken is. Let y'all see what the chicken look like. You know what I'm saying? It's just the first round of the season, as a matter of fact. It ain't done yet. We ain't done season. It's just the first round of the it's season. It's gonna be season. One thing about it. It's gonna be season, for sure. It's not just gonna be. <laughs> yeah. This ain't no TikTok, you know what I'm saying? This ain't no TikTok that y'all done seen. It's gonna be season. Love you too. Be safe. Be careful. All right, yeah. So we just gonna get the mixing this. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get the mixing this up. You know what I'm saying? Mix up the chicken and the seasonings. Mix up the chicken and the seasonings. Toss it in this little bowl. And um, for those, like I said, I, you know, I know this is a music. This is a reason music stream but uh i gotta get some cooking done right now i gotta do some i gotta get some cooking done so y'all just you know bear with me for a sec while i get this ready to go and then once once this is ready to go once all of the food is ready to go then we'll hop into the studio i'll give you guys a studio tour We'll do a quick studio tour and let you guys see what the studio look like. And then we'll start making music. All right, so I'll give me a little bit of foil. I'll just put some foil on my pan. I never put the pan straight. I never put it straight off the pan. Getting it popping. 
All right, so chicken is going on to the pan. I'll show you guys what the pan looks like once I put the chicken on. And I do my second layer of seasonings. But, you know, a little lemon juice, lemon pepper, seasoning salt. lemon pepper feel tonight. Hopefully I can get, I don't look like I'm going to get all the pieces of thighs on here. But, oh yeah. Stink. I still got four more pieces, so I'm gonna give me another pan, small pan, and get them in there, and you get them in there too. Do I got another pan somewhere? I got to have another pan somewhere. blessings as they say. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. Let me check this real quick. Let me check this check there. Like I said, we got the music coming up soon. Just getting this just getting this chicken ready to go. Chicken and veggies. Getting this chicken and veggies ready to go. I'm gonna pop this chicken in the pan. Let's see, do I wanna get do I wanna get some for this though? Yeah, I do. I'm not trying to do a whole bunch of cooking. I mean a whole bunch of cleaning. Alright, so I'm gonna just go ahead and slam my foil out. Let me get 
these last pieces of chicken up in here. Good to go. They done been mixed up. They done got seasoning on them. Seasoning. And yeah, we're just going to put a little more lemon pepper. Little more lemon pepper. A lot of more lemon pepper. A little bit of garlic. Garlic salt. You don't need a lot of garlic salt, you know, but make it work for you. Boom, boom. Touch this. Now I think what I'm doing on this pan, I think I'm putting my carrots. All right, let's clean up this area. Carrots and broccoli. Save my broccoli for a little bit later. That's going in there too. Type of clean as I go, clean as I cook. Always good to go. We're done. We're done. Keep it simple, as they say. Keep it simple. Now I'm sweating. All right, so I got my rice. Cooking right here. It's boiling. I'm gonna put the stuff up. I'm gonna put the stuff up. I don't want to have it. I want to leave a mess. Cool. I can go in there. We can close these. We don't need these no more. I can go right here. Those in the trash can. Tongs. Up. Your boy over here melting like a milk dud. I'm melting, I'm melting, I'm melting. Yo, what up, great man, man? It's good to see you, great keys. Good to see you up in this thing. I was telling people earlier that I'm starting to stream.
these codes. These be cold Ts. I got a FaceTime call, and the FaceTime call is what knocked my audio out. So now I'm at my workstation. I got the mic right here. Y'all should be able to hear me. Yeah, that was you. I knew that was you. <laughs> bro, that was a good Halloween costume, bro. I was like, yo, he low-key really looked like him. Like, <laughs> he did a good job on that costume, bro. Hey, I was dying laughing. <laughs> Yo, that mess was so funny, bro. That was too funny, man. And he he he's an interesting character that Kevin Samuels, man. Real interesting character cuz uh he be letting them have it. He be letting them have it, man. He don't hold back. Man, he really something else, man. I don't know what to say about that dude. Okay, let me turn this thing down, son. Sound is primo now. Yeah, because I'll show you my mic. I got my mic. See, my mic is right here. So, usually, well, it ain't going to be no usually. It's, it's going to be what it be. So, I have my camera pointed this way. So, that way, I'm making beats, making beats. And then when I turn to the camera, the mic is, like, already toward me. But, um, hey, man, I appreciate you uh, for giving me the updates on the sound and the qualities and everything like that. I'm going uh, to switch over to my other camera pretty soon. I got to get everything plugged up and, and ready to go. So we up in here for the stream. I appreciate you guys for coming through uh, definitely each and every time. Trying to do a lot more streaming uh, these days. Trying to get the streams in. Um, so that way, uh, you know what I'm saying, things can just be what they need to be. I can I can, I can, can um, get my YouTube going up. I definitely had a goal uh, to have my YouTube reach 1,000 subscribers. We are almost there. I'm super excited about that. Uh, we had a goal. Right now, the goal was for the watch watch time hours. I'm definitely trying to move into the monetized zone, more so for the status and more so for, like, to unlock all the other things. Not really about, like, getting money for advertisements and stuff like that because in the beginning, like, that's very small. That's very, like, nothing, one or two dollars. So it's more so for, like, the live stream, uh, added benefits and stuff like that. Somebody sent me a, a question on my. Somebody sent me a question on my uh, one of my YouTube videos. I'm real curious to see what they talking about over there. Man, you got the setup looking nice. Hey, I appreciate it. So um, once I get this uh, once I get this iPad back up, I can be mobile. I can be mobile with my um. I can be mobile. I got to get the, yeah, there we go. I got to get the microphone and everything working back right. So once I get that back, I'll have the iPad on. And it's kind of cool. Hey, man, if you guys do, like, live streams or if you do anything with video or if you do anything, like, with, like, cameras and, like, you ever want, like, a wireless, like, camera that you can use, like, if you ever want to put, like, your iPhone or iPad camera into OBS, for those who know OBS, and I guess pretty much anything that will take a browser input, a browser URL, VDO Ninja. VDO Ninja, bro. This is not an ad, but it should be. VDO Ninja. Check it out, bro. It's super dope. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys see what uh let you see what I see. Let me make sure that the, the audio is still good. Yeah, it looks like it's still good. All right, cool. So I can do like this. I can show you guys some stuff. I show you what it looks like. So like, here's like one angle of it, right? So like, that's where my computer is, and I moved it over here. So I can have like the bigger TV and everything like that over there. 
And then this is like the lounging area with the couch. You feel me? And I had these shelves. If you've ever seen my other videos, I had these shelves positioned in a way, but I didn't like where they were. So I'm still trying to figure out what I can do over there. Over here is like a, uh, this is a uh, charging station. I got another TV in case I want to have like another laptop or computer set up over here. I can do that too. So with this area, typically what I do, what's up with this thing? Okay. Typically I just have my, my batteries for cameras and everything. It's charged over here and I keep, I keep a bunch of stuff in my bin, wires, cables, iPhone cables, cables for cameras. All that stuff is always over here. And this is like a secondary desk for live streaming as well. I got another microphone right here. I can just plug in and have a whole nother area over here as well. But um, so that's that part, a little bit of studio foam. I'm, I'm gonna buy some more so I can feel the wall and, and better position that. At one point I had my computer and stuff on this wall, but I moved it. I was trying to deal with this plug right here. This plug is giving, it was a pain for me to replace. So I just left it alone. I just said, all right, whatever. And yeah, man, this is pretty much the area. This is where I keep some of my music equipment. It's a little, it's a little junky right now, but you know, I got the bass guitar, got the electric guitar, got the acoustic guitar, some extra drums. You know, you come around this way. So if you come in the studio, and you come sit down, you know, just like this, like the view right here. If you was coming to sit down at the studio, this is what you see while we working on the heat. And of course, got to look up. If you look up, I got my whole little cloud situation. This is probably the thing I'm proud of the most when it comes to this studio. Real proud of this because like I built it myself and it has foam and um got the led lights up there it's just super dope probably the only other thing i would say about the studio that's like super dope and you hear the little lights around the door or whatever what's super cool about the studio is i can say stuff like computer turn off the studio and Boom, you know, everything just, everything is just turned off. All the lights turns off, the TVs turn off, everything turns off, you know. I can say, computer, turn on the cloud. And there's our cloud, the cloud will turn on. You feel me? Super dope. I like that. Computer, turn on the desk. Then the desk, the desk will turn on, so now the TVs are coming on and whatnot. And yeah, man, it's just, it's just super dope. This is my light I got over here at Gold Dots. All right, cool. So that's pretty much a preliminary uh, preview of the studio. Let me see. I can't see any comments. Can't anybody say anything? Dope setup. Joe Crack the Don, appreciate you. Super dope. Great keys, appreciate you, man. It's a lot of work, hard work. Oh, I forgot about this side. So, of course, this side right here, where I keep the drums. And I love Zelda, so this is like my tribute. It's my tribute to Zelda over here. But, of course, like I said, it's garage session. So, it's in my garage. So, like, there's my water heater trying to hide it. Hopefully, you can't see that. And then I got like my fridge over here and a bunch of stuff in storage. We ain't really trying to look at that though, you know. So, um, but yeah, there's my uh, my drum set and whatnot. And that's that. All right, so the only thing else I got to do, still waiting on our special guest to arrive. But once he gets here, we'll move into the rest of the festivities. Um, and part of those festivities include that drum set. So we're going to get that popping. 
Let me just fix my rice, my rice real quick. I fix my rice, put it in a bowl, and then I'll be done in the kitchen for a minute. bit of brown rice I was trying to go no carbs but every now and again you just need something that's gonna you know give you that give you what you've been looking for your body craves it craves the carbs craves the sugar so I was thinking all right brown rice a little better you know we'll rock out with the brown rice veggies Broccoli, carrots, a little bit of chicken thighs, you know, baked, not fried. Baked, not fried. Ooh, got my brown rice. Look at it steaming, ready to go, boy. Hot, fresh, and a nice little dinner. That's done. Sometimes what I like to do, like I'll cook everything and then immediately just pack everything into a portion, meal, meal prep kits, meal prep bowls. Even if I'm going to eat that night, I just do that. That way I can clean the pots and pans and, and I just know everything's clean. I know everything's clean and good to go. If you saw me on a regular, you probably think I had OCD when it comes to cleaning this stuff, but whatever got the chicken cooking it's cooking up in there it's doing what it needs to do it's giving what it's supposed to give so we're gonna let that do its thing hopefully i don't forget burn it All right, let me turn let me turn this off let me see this word nice bro stolen ideas mine will look like it soon <laughs> that's crazy bro my phone over here where i can see my chat all right, we're up in here. So, oh, that's what I got. I got to switch my camera. Got to get my other camera on. Got to get my other camera. Let me see. I'm gonna switch back to my webcam. <clears throat> got a little carpet too. A little carpet, a little flooring here and there. Got a little bit of flooring. Found some carpet, a old Chase Bank. The old Chase Bank is getting some new carpet installed, and I happened to be there, and I was like, "Yo, can I get that carpet for my garage?" So at first, the way the couch was positioned, like you couldn't even see no more of the floor, like all of it was filled in. So wherever you walked in the studio, had a little carpet in too. But some of that carpet in it tore up. And I got to uh, do some other stuff. Hey, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Computer, remind me to check on my chicken in 10 minutes. Is that right? She, she always talk too much. I don't understand why you got to talk so much. What is you doing? She always got to give you all this extra information. Like, yo, I don't need all this extra information. Just do what I asked you to do. That's the only person you can talk to like that is Alexa. <laughs> the only person you can talk to like that is Alexa. So... I'll be getting it out. I'll be like, hey, hey, shut up. All right, all right. So, um, let me see. Let me make sure my, my music and stuff is working right. Play something I made the other day. I was in the studio. I was on a live stream. It was that Saturday. 
I was on live stream on Saturday. So let me see if y'all can hear this. Oh wait, of course you can't hear it. I gotta turn this one off. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Sound is good now. Appreciate that, Uncle Eric. Appreciate that. Let me see if you guys can hear this. Uh, I'm going to turn this up some. Carlos, wow, what's good, bro? What up, my guy? Stu looking good, bro. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'll show you guys a little bit, a little bit more, a little something else, maybe a little later. Appreciate that. Man, yeah, thank y'all for joining the stream, man. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? giving me this is giving me energy man it's giving me energy y'all let me know how y'all feel about this beat what's up with this thing what happened what did it do i broke it i broke something i did it i broke it oh snap i broke it i wonder why i did that i broke it Just remind me of like, just like, just like a freaking war, and like you just gotta make sure that you just conquer. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta, you like riding back, like Ghost of Tsushima type stuff. Like you riding back on your horse with your sword, about to go. You know what I'm saying? Like super epic, like, and of course, like it ain't mixed or nothing like that. So like, you know what I'm saying? I was just working on it. Ain't mixed or nothing, so it might be loud here. The horns might be loud, some I don't know. But in general, just the vibe of it. I don't even have my headphones to hear. Let me check it out. Woo! 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 the love man we got fire in him fire in the chat man y'all gonna set the place on fire man fire in the chat fire is in the chat man i'm glad to hear it man i'm glad to hear it. i'm glad to hear it. i'm glad to hear it all right let me see if i can get I gotta get my other camera real quick.
useless. Let's check something else out. So y'all ain't gotta just listen to this one. While I hook this um while I hook this camera up. Let's y'all check this one out too. This one's called More Talk. This one's called More Talk. The other one is called Grind. Grind just to get it. Grind just to get it. Don't don't be weird. Here we go. That's it right there. That's it right there. That's it right there. That's it right there. Oh, let me set up my let me set up my chat so I can see what y'all saying. Let me set up my chat. Hello. I'm well. How are you? Chris, here is your reminder. Check on my chicken. Uh, I'm a little bit in the middle of something. Um, yeah, I can give you a call in a little bit. Or if if it's if if I can if I can I can text you. If uh, or do you need more more help than that? Okay, yeah. Let me let me call you back, or I'll give you a text. Okay. All righty. Bye bye. Oh, snap. Okay, let's get the iPad camera real quick. Let's get the iPad. Don't be, don't be acting funny, iPad. All right, so we in the stew.
we're gonna get ready to get we're gonna get ready to get live still waiting on our special guest when the guest arrives probably when we gonna link up for some new music and you know start you know producing something we might just do some playthroughs we might just do some stuff real quick on the playthrough joint um but either way we'll have something dope coming up soon we'll have something dope coming up soon um let me see what's popping with everybody up in here where's my other camera you know what's crazy is i have a uh here we go here we go boom there we go that's what i wanted i have a uh stream deck i got a stream deck and i never use it i bought the stream deck a long time ago when i wasn't even going live i got it programmed but every time you change something on obs you got to reprogram it so anyway maybe we get that heck out. check out the, yeah uh-huh uh, my wife said check on that chicken but i'll be back y'all i gotta get this chicken out the oven Chicken's doing all right. We're going to let that marinate. We're going to let that marinate. Let it do its thing. Um, love that automation, Abe. Hey, me too. Me too. Appreciate you. This thing is uh, changing my white balance. I think because of those lights. All right, let's see. Not only... Some of these lights are color coordinated. Some of these lights, Alexa has it where, you know, she'll do the color too. So computer, turn the studio blue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I want the studio to be blue now. You feel me? You want the studio to be blue. She turned the studio blue. You feel me? So that's how that happened. All right, so the chicken is good. It's marinating. It's in the oven. Um, I uh, turned the heat down, turned it off, so we're just going to let it do its thing. It's good to go, though. I, it look good, nice and crispy, just like I like that skin. It's going to be fire. Computer, make the studio purple. I don't know how to set studio. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Stop playing with me. Computer, turn the studio purple. There you go. Now the studio's purple. Well, some of the lights are purple. All right, cool. Um, let me see. Something's not on, though. Something ain't on. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing good, man. How y'all doing out there in the world chat? Um, I'm doing good. I did my Uber Eats earlier today. Finished Uber Eats. Got home. Worked on the food. Food's already ready. About to get into the studio stream about to get into some music that's pretty much where i am um how are you guys i hope everybody is doing good you're feeling good you're staying safe you know you're not letting this situation that we in get us down everybody's good you're working hard on your music you about your business you've been working you've been going on youtube getting new tips and tricks you've been learning new things you've been practicing your skills Beats is coming out crazy. Your rhymes is coming out crazy. Everything is just exactly what you need it to be. I hope everything is going good with you. Let me know. Let us know. Show some love in the chat. Appreciate you guys. So, um, those was beats. We worked on those beats before. Um, dope stuff, man. I, I'm glad you guys like it. I'm glad you guys like it, man. Dope AF. I'm glad you guys like it, bro. Um, it's it's just a little something, something. It ain't it ain't where it could be, but it is what it is. Catchy Noise Productions is in the building. What's good? What's good, bro? It's good to see you. I'm glad you joined us again. You was with us on Saturday. 
when we had the stream, I appreciate you coming through. Appreciate you. It's good to see you again, man. You know, you guys, like I said, man, y'all give me energy, man. Y'all give me hype. Y'all give me hype, man. Y'all give me hype. I want to I wanna make something dope for y'all, you know. I want to make something dope for y'all. What 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 y'all got in mind? What's on your heart? You feel me? What 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 is it? It's like yo, I'm using reason. I don't really feel like reason is giving what it's supposed to give. I don't really feel like reason is understanding the assignment. How do you do this? How do you do that? If you got any questions, man? Please let me know. I will try to get that addressed as soon as possible with this episode. Let me know. Uh, if it's anything that you guys are like, yo, how do you do this? In reason, let me know. I was um, I was uh, I took some time the other day to to work on some stuff. So I worked on some some uh chord progressions. I worked on some um, what's the mood today? Sample bass. The mood is. Probably never going to be sample based. I'm gonna just keep it real with you. I'm sorry. It probably never will be sample based. Um, just cause the, I've never really, I've never really been into that. She's never really been into that. Um, but I mean, you know, if you got a dope sample or you know I could get some dope samples, then you know we can make it sample based. But yeah, I just. I just never been. I hope y'all all the edification. Man, I'm I'm trying, my brother. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm gonna take y'all to church real quick. When you just, you know, you don't know what to do. And you just like, man, how am I gonna how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna, you know, just like do what I need to do with music? Like, just don't give up. Just know that you never could have made it. You never could have made it. I don't even have the headphones on, so I can't hear it. Hopefully, hopefully them was the right notes. Hopefully them was the right keys, because I don't even have no headphones on to hear it. So hopefully it was good. Hopefully. And then I found this crazy. Where is this at? It's uh that ain't it. It's this one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That one. Is it? That one, uh, that one, four, two, five, one. So it goes boom. Five one, um, them port chord progression. So I was like working around that, figuring that out. So every every so often, you just gotta stop creating, and you gotta go back into figuring things out. You gotta go back into, you know, studying, learning. Uh, and so the best place for that for me. Has always been YouTube, so I go I go to YouTube like yo, let's learn some, let's let's look at some, let's figure something out, and that's what it is. The other one I was I was working on. This, this is one of my favorite songs. If you guys have never know, if you didn't know, this is one of my favorite songs right here.
well, of course, it can't be your favorite song if you can't figure out the rest of it. I can play it in a different key. So it's a... Uh, I wish I could play it, but I can't. I can't play it with the music, cause then they might copyright strike me. But that's one of my other favorite songs is uh, "Love and War" Tamar Braxton. Hopefully you can hear that. Hopefully you can hear that. My camera's already tripping. Uh, let me see, Carlos. Right now you can't do that. Just load up on NNXT and go crazy. Okay, what are they talking about? Um, I'm on 11. What's new in 12? Pitch shifts on hi hats and redrum. How do you do that? Seen it in another video you did. You absolutely can do pitch shifts on uh, hi-hats. Now, what Great Keys is talking about, what Great Keys is talking about is using the piano roll. So I'll, so I'll show you what he's talking about right now. So if you load up an NN19, because that's the easiest one that you could load up. You can do NNXT, but it just, it has a lot more buttons and knobs is what I'll say. A lot more buttons and knobs. So let's say that you are inside of Reason. You got your sampler, right? I got my sampler right here. Open up your browser. Find a hi hat that you like. Use the load button. Whatever. Get a get a get a hi hat that you like, and just drop it into an empty NN19. That's the first step. Now, as you can see, now. Now you can play it on your keyboard if you have a keyboard. But of course, if you play it on your keyboard, you also can do it on the piano roll. So you can make a note lane, jump in there, and now you have now you have these note lanes that you can do. Of course, you know you can just draw one. I like to draw one. You can hold Control and then press D, and then it'll duplicate it across like that, right? You can just hold it; it'll just duplicate them. So we in one one. 120 right now. Let's go to 140. All right. So now it's and it's all playing on that keynote, right? So of course, what you will want to do is you want to zoom in and maybe you want to change this snap. If it's on relative, the more you zoom in, the easier it will be. See, it changed to 164. I hope you guys can see that. <laughs> How it changed to 164 right there. So um you want to, you know, edit your hi hats, you know, so that you can have that, have the feel that you want it to have, right? And um, what you can do is now because it's in the piano roll, you can drop it like that, right? You, you can, you know, find the, the the drum pattern that you want in order to do that. And redrum. Let's say we open up redrum. And we do the same thing. We find the sample we want. Here's the hi hat that we that we like. I actually sometimes I don't know. It just depends. It depends on how I feel that day if I'm gonna use redrum or not. Because, um, like I like using this resolution knob. If you turn this up to make it, it'll play it faster. See, so like, so. You can change how fast it plays, right, inside of the, the redrum. Let me get rid of this so you guys can see a little bit better. Let's go. Let's actually use something new. Other question you ask, what's new in Reason 12? Application Zoom is new in Reason 12. So we just zoomed into the application so that you guys can see the application. That's something that is brand new inside of Reason 12. So I'm going to take my face off of here so that you can just see it on its own. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. And we good to go with that. Let me just make sure. Okay, cool. You guys are good. Um, so, all right. So we got this hi-hat, 
you know, you can make it go slower. Now it's playing eighth notes, right? This is playing 16th notes, 32nd notes, 164ths, right? Now we got 164ths, then you can increase the steps. This is just a, a added little like thing so you can actually map out you can map out like a bar of the hi-hats this way, right? And like, that's like, technically that's like too slow, like too fast, way faster than I would want it to be. That's too slow. Probably something like that. And now you can, you can do like a, you can use the flam, right? You can, you can draw them in. Versus if you if you just load the redrum up regular, right? So it, it, this just if you want those triplets, if you want them, you know, if you want if you want to like you know, if you want to program your drums a certain way. Now the next part is of course the pitch. You just have to automate it, so you can't actually you won't have access to the um you won't have access to the to the piano roll, but you can automate it, right? So you can automate it. So, you know, you look at it in terms of the value, negative 64, that's the pitch all the way down, plus 63, that's the pitch all the way up. In the middle at zero is no pitch change. So I would think of it like percents. I would think of it in terms of percents. I would say, yo, 10% or 20% higher, right? Like 20 notches. It's like actually it's like semitones or whatever. But just think of it like 20% or 20 notches higher. So now the now the hi-hats are that much higher. You go lower, right? Doing and you really have to use your ear. You're definitely using your ear more than you are using like your eyes when you're using the piano roll you're using your eyes but when you're using when you're when yeah, you're using your eyes when you're using the pitch shift on redrum you have to really use your ears because you know you use your ears to say okay is that how low i wanted it to go now here's the here's how you can automate it very quickly just set set the entire bar to a number set that one to 20 right then we're going to bring that down. We're going to make another one. We're going to set this one to negative 20. Right? So now I'll, I'll let you hear what it sounds like. So now you can play around with that. You can change the length, right, of that. And because, of course, like, that's not how you hear it like usually it's like it's normal pitch for a minute and then it just goes high or it goes low or like you know it, it like climbs up or climbs down like that right so you can you just you just shift it and then if you want you of course you can make a you can make a slope like that and then now you got you know you got that that effect but you got to use automation. So with that, the better your automation, the more patience you have, the easier you can get it to do what you want it to do. Hold on. Let me, I got to call this. I got to call back. Let me see right now. Hold on real quick. Hello? What's the code, Christopher? Oh, um, okay. Hold on. Give me one second real quick. All right, yo, I'm back. All right. I'm coming out, okay? All right. All right. I guess technically I can just open the garage door, too. All right, so did that answer your question, Carlos? And Great Keys, uh, 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 thanks for pointing that out, that you can do it on the piano roll. Um, I hope that answered your question, you know, in, in terms of, like, how you did it. Maybe that's how you saw me do it on stream. I'm not sure. But that's typically how I would do it. If I'm using redrum, that's that's how I would do it. Um, 
Uh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, sound is good. So that's just that's one way you can do it. Of course, is is with the, it's with redrum. You can use the NN19 sampler, uh, and you could probably just automate that in a different way if you wanted to. Let me see. I, I do like to do multiple ways. So let's say we got rid of that automation. And we instead we flipped the rack around, um, and then we created a. Let's see, what do we want to create? I know you can do an instrument. We can create like a maelstrom. You can create any instrument as long as you know how to route it, right? You can go to the pitch. Just let me see. Let me find it. Pitch. You route that pitch to. Let's see, where do we mount it? The mod. Yeah. So now the pitch is going to be whatever this modulator is doing, the pitch will do. So we'll turn the rate up and we'll turn the pitch up and Hello? Did you want to park in the driveway or No, don't park in the drive. Hold on, here. Let me open the door real quick. All right, cool. My special guest is here, parking the car. Let me stop this real quick. All right, so, yeah, bro, that helped me out a lot. Thanks. So that's another way that you can do that. You can automate it. You can draw it in. You can use the NN19 piano roll. You can route it to a modulator, and it'll just modulate it automatically for you. And then, of course, with that, this has a lot of different like that's like a randomizer if you just want to like some crazy hi-hats you know you could just you could just route that into the pitch that's actually really cool now i'm thinking about it like that's that's pretty cool like this really cool way to like quickly get you those like crazy hi-hat pitch changes right you don't have to draw it out you don't have to know how to use the automation you don't have to do any of that stuff it'll just you can it'll just do it for you so yeah that's one way all right i'm gonna get this camera back on one real quick i don't know why it does that all of the time irritating me um, we don't need this see let me fix this guy real quick um yo man thanks for that question because that definitely uh launched us into that discussion and that was like super cool to you know be able to show you guys and like experiment and be able to do that like that was super dope so sick uh the search the search feature is something brand new as well um, so, for example, if we go here and we load this up, we do search. Um, Hi. Hey, Taylor, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, chilling. Okay, doing our music thing, you know. Oh, yeah, like, no, you're fine, you're fine. It's, we're having fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh... What was I trying to do? Oh, application zoom be tripping. Application zoom be tripping. That's why I was doing that. So the search feature, let's say we want to search for something. I don't know. We just put kick. And now it separates, you know, in different ways. Look, 
here's an effect patch, instrument patch, other patches, samples. It just gave you a few samples, but you can click more. It'll show you more. Now you have all of the kicks, right? Um, you can also, it separates it into folders, right? So it's like lots of different ways that the search will check things depending on how you search for it. Same thing within your own your own library, you know, for example. Um, you could definitely uh, search for something. Like this is my library right here. You could search for something. Let's say we search for guitar. And hopefully my computer doesn't die. Because I know it's a lot of stuff in this folder specifically. I know it's a grip of stuff in there. So hopefully it doesn't just like die <laughs> and it actually will search all right cool so i found some stuff so i found 496 samples 23 folders and 15 instrument patches so that's what i mean like the search is is cool because um you know it'll it'll separate it how it finds it here is my guest what's good pops I'll, I'll check it out in, in a minute. I'll check it out in a minute. All right, y'all. My, my, my super secret guest joining us. I'm streaming. Yep. He didn't know he was going to be streaming. My dad, he's up in here. You guys get the... I'm always bringing in somebody. You guys met my, my wife the other day. She was in here. Um, somebody said, hi, Mrs. Chris. Uh, she was in here. And now my dad is here. He's going to join us. Uh, he's where I get all my all my rhythm from, I guess, in terms of, like, being, like, drums. He played drums when he was younger. He'll probably talk about it. I don't know, maybe. Hopefully, it'll 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 be a, a dope stream. Um, search is super dope. Search is dope. The graphics is the other proponent that was new. Um... Dang, I'm, I'm, my computer is tripping again. The graphics was the other proponent that was new inside of Reason. Basically, how everything looks just looks way better now. The graphics look better. Everything is like high resolution. Um, of course, the application zoom. You can actually zoom in and make the application much bigger. So two things had to happen with reason for that to work one you know in like if they zoom in but it didn't look good you know that wouldn't be good so they had to improve the way the graphics looked so if you if you look at the the comparison between like the old redrum and new drew redrum you'll see like these knobs look a little more 3d you know um everything pops out a little bit more and you can just you can get a little closer you know and everything pops out more and it just looks better right it, it looks high definition is is what they call it high definition high res graphics and of course you know with the re i always show people whenever they ask what's new in reason 12 we always got to show everybody the fan in the back of the redrum spinning 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 away so yeah man that's that um it's some other some other new stuff in reason and what they since they released it they promised that they would do uh monthly updates so each month they're supposed to be like adding something new or fixing something or changing something so each month they're supposed to be fixing something making it better improving the graphics improving the a lot of people have been complaining about it being unstable like in terms of like freezing or or dropping or you know just having problems i haven't had any of those problems uh but some other people have said like the application crashes so there might be some bugs there might be some bugs in your installation uh depending on how you installed it, it could be a problem too that's exactly what we are doing, Catchy Noise. That's exactly what we're doing. Pops is going to come 
Uh, he's gonna play some drums. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if he if he can you know shake some of the dust off. He is an older man. You know he he he's he's much older than I. So we're gonna see if he gonna if he gonna be able to give us something on them drums. If he can if he can give us something on them drums or not. We're gonna see. I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see. So he getting ready. While he getting ready, we're gonna see what's popping. See what's popping. I gotta get my other lens on here. Yeah, I get my other lens. Hold on. Got a bunch of lenses. Let me get my other lens on here. See if I can find it. Close this garage door. I did. situation music makes you come alive exactly <laughs> reason studio started following me on instagram a couple of weeks ago yo that's super dope bro i don't know if you saw i had put on um i put on here they put i don't know if they followed me i don't know if they follow me or not but they definitely put on um they sent me a dm and it was super dope. They sent me a DM. And they was like, yo, we like the videos you've been doing. And, you know, I was like, yeah, thank you. You know, thanks for the, you know, software and everything. And, you know, so it was super dope. It was super dope for them to reach out like that and everything. But uh, my advice for Reason 12, if you don't have a beefy computer, stay away. If you have crack, stay away. Yes, sir. Yes, exactly. Both of those things. Both of those things. If you, if you do not... First of all, do what you got to do, my boy. I ain't telling nobody to do nothing. Do what you got to do, my boy. You know, all of us have used some form of cracked software, cracked something. We've all, you know, we've had some experience with it here or there. What I'm going to say is, Buy, purchase the software, bro. Purchase the software. Buy it. Buy it. Get the actual software. Like that's that's crazy that somebody would be complaining that their software crashes and they have a cracked version of the software. Anyway, I'm not gonna get on. I'm not. I'm not going I'm not. I'm not here to shame. I'm not here to judge. Cause I definitely was there as well so that's not what i'm doing that's not what i'm saying i'm just i'm just saying that you probably should what's up dad oh. how you doing how are you man i'm good man my you on. ready to do your thing yeah it's just one song that i wanted to hear it's been going over in my head Can one song that? going over in your head Can you play that? what is it it's a song by al green a song by al green we can play it. I hope the stream doesn't get, uh, I don't know, the stream. I can play it for you, and then y'all just have to pretend like y'all know what's being played. I can play along to it. That's what we can do. We can do that. Oh, cool. 
appreciated that. Please, I'm sorry. Well, the key, I need to drop the key. The key's in the bag. Y'all let me know if y'all can hear these, if y'all can hear it, what it sound like. If it sound all right. I gotta move this microphone. You done readjusted everything, huh? Yeah, Dad, do your thing, man. You, I know, you know you have. I can see it. If so. Quest Love came over here to play on the drum set. He gonna move stuff around so he get comfortable. Who's Quest Love? Oh dang, dang dad, you can't do that, dad. You can't do that, man. You can't, you can't disrespect. Come on, man. You can't do that. Mm-hmm. Quest Love from the Roots, the legendary, the one and only. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Dang, Pops is really on one. I'm about to adjust it, so like, I'm up in my Yeah, Dad, do your thing. Yeah, man. Do your thing, Pops. I'm gonna get, let me get, let me, I'm gonna set up another camera for Pops. So I was telling y'all earlier, Video Ninja, VDO Ninja. A super dope program. You can use it. You can add in. Um, you can add in cameras using the uh, website straight from a, a smartphone. It's super dope. I'm gonna use it to get my dad another camera so y'all can see. Y'all can see even more. Who are you talking to? I told you we, we live, we streaming. To who though? All right, so we got Catchy Noise Productions. We got Uncle Eric. We got Great Keys Beats. We got Carlos Wow. We got Uncle Tasia Eric, up in you, here. You're, you're not your cousin Eric? I don't know. I, this, is, this is a different This is a different Uncle Eric. His name is just Uncle Eric. He's not. 
It's not our actual uncle. But yeah. Anyway. So I don't know none of these people. Nah, 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 nah. You don't know these people. Nah, you, you ain't gonna know these people. You ain't gonna know these people. Nah, man, you ain't gonna know these people. Let's see. Let's add in one more. Once again, thank you guys for rocking with us. We're gonna get ready to get get into some 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 beat making live. Some we're gonna play along to some stuff. You know, we're gonna have some fun. Me and Pop. Dad, <laughs> I don't know. So the story goes, my dad calls me up one day and he, Yeah, I had the whole setup. Drums and everything. But he calls me up one day and he oh, says, shit. Chris, I want to play the drums. I want to play the drums before I die. That's what he said. Now, my dad is okay. He's fine. There's not anything wrong with him. I'm not I'm not doing a sympathy card. That's what he was doing. I said, okay, dad. What you want to do? He said, let's go buy a drum kit. I said, all right. My drum kit. I'm down for that. You know, set it up in the garage. That sounded like a good time to me. Sound like fun. We went and got the drum kit. And um it's really his drum kit, therefore. No, it ain't. It's so since it's his drum kit. It's supposed to be. Since it's his drum kit, it ain't. He the one that get to say what it look like and what it don't look like, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Pipe down. So that's the reason why he get to chastise me about the drum set. What? A tutorial on somebody asked me for a tutorial on how to mic drums 
Um, so we can kind of go over that while he's setting up. He's tuning his drums. Let me let's let's actually get these. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right. So first of all, you wanna you want you want a mic on the bass drum. Preferably, you wanna have multiple microphones. I unfortunately only have two microphones. But they are some pretty good microphones. I only have I got my two microphones, so my microphone is going to go, the one I usually talk to is going to go on the bass drum. Thank you. 
people. I always do that. She said, bro, play with your big girl body. I sure will. I'll tell her when she get back. Take my mask off? Start it over.
nice song, ain't it? Get him some drums. So I stopped beating on all the pots and the pans. And after that, I started playing on a snare drum. I had a little old raggedy set. Right, right. I'm just saying, I had one <laughs> snare drum and I played that. How to read and write. Can you guys hear my dad okay? Give me a thumb up if you guys can hear him okay. And uh, I went to junior high school, seventh, eighth, and ninth grade. I learned how to how to read and write and make two of them. But in sixth grade, I already didn't know. I'm just following what they tell me to do. You know, learning how to just beat on a drum. But that was my first experience with a real live drum. And then we had like a practice drum, the practice pad. Play that, take that home every now and then. And then from junior high school, they recruited me from Centennial High School to play in Centennial Band. I learned all of the cadence rhythm. Okay. Uh, it was the summertime, so it's like I started getting better and better with the drums as the years went by and I learned how to play. Then after junior high school and I got to high school, they made me the section leader. started raining on everybody else, so it was like the competition was over with, you know, with the Apache Indians, you get it? It was, it was so funny, because we was jamming, and that trophy is still right to this day, still in Centennial, one of the biggest trophies we won, and we had that battle of the band. Then after that, I played in uh, Compton Junior College All District Band, and then after that I went to Avenue Christian University, that was 250 people there, and we had these double snare chrome drums, and I was like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm there now, that's double it. Snare double snare, that means they had a snare at the bottom of the first head, and it was a snare at the bottom of the second head, that was oh, double okay. snare, and then drums, well, no joke. What would it make it do? It make it rattle out? It's just, it's just a better, crisper sound, and that's all, and it, that's all, and it, it had it was a deeper drum. It was like a field drum, you know, like the marching band drums, but it was a double snare. But yeah, I've been playing drums for a long time. So I never could really afford my own set. My mom only bought me this one little field drum. That's all I ever owned. And after I tore that up and with the little kitty set that my brother then bought me for Christmas, I let the whole neighborhood tear that up. <laughs> so I didn't have no set after that. But after I lost the drums that I had, then I learned to appreciate other people's sets and started seeing drum sets. I, I just played on other people's sets. And this is the first time I ever owned my own. So, you know, I had gotten these uh, pieces of drums. Somebody was throwing away some drums. My wife said I could get them, and I got them. And they wasn't really nothing. So my son said, no, nah, we ain't finna spend all this money trying to put these drums together. 
let's just buy one. So I gave him the money. He, he bought this one. Yo, man. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. That's that's the money right there. Come on, bro. All right, Dad. Well, what you want to do? You want to keep, you want to keep it warming up? You want to practice? You want to play with me? Yeah. What if I get my bass drum? I play a little on the bass drum. Your bass drum or your bass I mean guitar? My bass guitar. <laughs> That last song that you made, when you put all them pieces together, what was that? Last song that we made. Remember the last song you sent me, and you, 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 you had, you, you had the hand claps in it. You remember? And you said a little tone at your doo. When you put it all together, it was the jazz plate. the truth though that's how I started Got all your runs in it. I don't know the beats. <laughs> Every time I want to put some runs in it, you got some in it already. And I don't want to just run over your beats. What? It's not gonna do the fuse anymore. It's not gonna do the what? Oh.
we starting over? Because you're going to record again, huh? No, no, I'm not recording. What? Why are you starting over? <laughs> Is that you? Follow you. How's that? And the bass guitar on the keyboard. <laughs> I cannot speed it up if I'm going by you to set the tone. I said I was gonna follow you though. Oh, you gonna follow me? Okay.
pumping in and out.
hear me. Hello, hello? Okay, yeah, that's that's probably better. They probably can hear it better with this one. So what I was saying was, hello? What I was saying was that the, um, So what I was saying was that um, I was watching Drumeo is what it's called on YouTube, and they were saying you can make that to make like a you know to soften the sound. So if you got that on the drum, how are you gonna get it to pop if you try to get it to pop? No, this drum, this snare drum, and or the snare head, whatever it, something in it is giving it a deeper sound. It's deep. It's like a, I've said that before, it's like a thump. But they have other snare drums that have more of a ting than a thump. So this one has a thwack or a thump sound. And I want the one that has the, the ting, you know, like the pong, you know, like a, you know, I don't know. I well, it's probably because of the drum that's in there. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I'll see if this, if this drum set, they have drums. See, it kind of has that. I want more like that. Mm, more like that. Definitely. That, that's more like what it sounds like. No, let me see. They got a drum set right here. In two seconds. I, can, I know I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. What is it you're looking for? What are you getting at? at? <clears throat> this is my, my drum sound. So this is, this is what it sounds like to me. That's what that snare sounds like. I don't want that sound. I want this sound. You hear it? Yeah. Anyway, I want that kind of a sound. It's not giving that kind of a sound. So it's giving the other sounds. So it's just it's just, it's just, just the type of snare. Just like in here, you can change the kind of snare that you want. And change the sound. See? Mm -hmm. They all sound different. You can change them. This has the It's the program that I use to make the beats. It's called Reason. So you can cipher you can cycle through the drum sets and it will change different things about the drum set. So you can have different cymbals, you have the different toms, you have a different kick, you have a different snare. You can customize it, mismatch it. Other, other, there are other ones that make it even better. Like visually, you can see it. So like visually, you can see that there's a um, a difference in the drum set. So like, see how our drum set is all blue. Right. You know, instead of it being all blue, when you change the snare, it'll change the color of the snare. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So that way. It, it makes sense. You can see it visually. Oh, we changed the snare so you can see the drum set. Like a virtual, it's like a virtual drum set. Right. You know. When you change it, you can see the change. When you change it, you can see the change. And you can hear the change. So, and those are pretty cool. They're kind of expensive for the little, you know, they're kind of expensive. But yeah, you can hear them. You can see them. They're different. Yeah, I might do it over without you yelling in the background. <laughs> I might re I might redo it without you yelling in the background. You can't get rid of that. No, you can't get rid of that. You yelling? No, you definitely can't get rid of you, you yelling. No, you can't. I was trying to tell you to spin the uh, hi hat. I know. <clears throat> you just kept on playing. Looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> Boy, you did a job on this paint up here, huh? Well, I was going. Well, I'm glad I didn't go. Like this part. I was going to paint the whole room blue, but I'm glad I didn't paint the top blue. But I should have took more time painting it if I wasn't going to paint it blue. You know you can go over that blue, right? I know. With some white. Yeah, I know. But if I'm going to do that, I'm going to do the whole 
the whole thing needs to be painted. See, all these just talking about the borders. Oh, well, yeah. I usually like to have it so dark in here that you can't see it. That's usually how it is, but anyway. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Guitar that sound like what? What what you want it to sound like? I don't know what kind of guitar you gonna put in there. Could wait, you wait, but you I don't have one. Oh, okay, see this see guys, this is what I've been missing. Somebody to, you know, bounce ideas off of. What what do you hear when you say you don't have a guitar in there? What do you hear? You hear like You could use acoustic or electric, but it won't be no folk guitar. But...
on you, man. Oh, man. So we just came up with the word. See? <laughs>
Trying to give you some different flavor besides your own all the it's time. It's a okay, I, and I like that, and I appreciate it. It's a collaboration. Okay, we we can collaborate. When I get tired of collaborating, I'm gonna sit down. And I'm gonna let you. Okay. For sure. <laughs> For those who are wondering where these sounds are coming from, this is Reasons Refill, Reason Soul School. They have some really dope uh, horns and just different sounds in there. So if you if you're look in the market to get some new sounds and you want that you know 80s you know feel like what we're making, Reason Soul School has a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna get into the strings. We're gonna get into some strings right now. Let's see if I can. See if I can find something that dad likes. No, because I don't even like that. Um, but let me see real quick. String ensemble.
I'm just saying, I'll tell you one thing, and then you'll come and do your flavor, which is fine. That's cool. Well, you do it. I'm well, just, yeah, I mean, you know, I am the music producer. Exactly. You know what I'm exactly. saying? So, you know, you, so got you arrange it. I might come up with my sound, but you arrange it. So. Yeah. You know, at some point, you got to let me produce. You know, you gotta let me produce it. You, doing you know, your thing, you gotta man. let me produce Yo, it. Yo, sister in law just came in here and was talking about the groove is making her help her cook her oxtail, so she wanted to film us. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sitting there going like this. And I didn't even know she was filming me. <laughs> What? 
So he's talking about this instrument. I'm sorry, hold on. That, what I'm telling you to do that thing with. This is in the refill. This is not me. This is this is the uh, old patch. So what he's trying That's to do is soul that, school that, that is, is pretty old. Mm -hmm. Now he's, he's talking about something in the program. But nonetheless, I was making bass lines. I didn't like the way they sounded. I think the first one was like, it was like. Yeah, it was basic. That's what it was, basically. It was basic. It was like, you know, boom, 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 boom. But he was like, boom, do it like this. Boom, 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 boom. I was like, oh, okay. Like, oh, I was like, oh, like that. Too hard where I couldn't do. I probably could do it. I probably could do it on the on the bass guitar. Probably could do it. I ain't gonna take no credit for it though. That's all. This this is uh. I'm just glad I can get away from the house. Huh? I'm just glad I can get away from the house. People can hear you, sir. We're happy to have you. Just forget all of that. You can come over anytime you like. We are still alive, sir. People can hear you, sir. Well. All right, you ready to play some more? You were chipping off of me when I was telling you to do that. Yeah, that's the funniest thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, he fell out laughing. I'm like, I'm the trying to tell you how I want the keyboard to sound. Then he went and found it. <laughs>
you're doing is you're syncopating with your hi hat in between your bass and your rim shots and your snare. So you're your um Okay, say that again. You 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 playing your snare shot would normally would be a snare part with your rim shot and you're syncopating with your hi hat. So in between your hi hat and your bass drum, uh -huh. you have that note in there. You hear what I'm saying? It's right. like you're playing the note, but it's up in the air. It's in between the eighth and the sixteenth note. It's a syncopation you're talking about. So with R and B, it's boom, boom, See how you're going slow? Okay, yeah. in jazz, you gotta go. You hear the difference? Even if you don't feel it, you still do it. You look, look, Christopher, you're doing it with your shoulders. Nothing's in the eggnog. Nothing is in the eggnog. <laughs> Nothing is in the eggnog. Nothing. Just ice. Ice is in the eggnog. We're we're sober. We're sober living folk. Why you thought that was in the eggnog? Because people usually put stuff in eggnog. Well, I don't. I think that's that. I asked him for some water, and I went over there too. I think that that word is doing something. That word you use, syncopation. I think that's where I'm, where I'm really not. Falling short. Yeah. You're not moving your body. Yeah, that's what they tell us. You do it on the keyboard, but on the drums, you have to feel the rhythm. So if you're not using a beat, your body is at least feeling it. You see what I'm saying? So it will come back through, either in your foot or your hi hat. That's why you see drummers move all the time. And the more they move, the faster they play.
one together, I was sure. He's like, oh, you do it, you do it. I said, Christopher, you have to do it. Look, look, I have, you have to do it this way, and this way, and then that way. You have to do it all cut. You can't tighten one around the head. Who we tighten unevenly, and it will make the skin strip. I learned that the hard way. Pops, he was putting Pops is always trying to teach. He always trying to teach less. I'm just, what I'm gonna, I'm not going to tell you that right. You know, you're trying to teach lessons. I'm just trying to jam out. <laughs> now, when he busts the head, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> Come fix it, Dad. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I taught Pops, him how to do it. Pop's trying to teach lessons. I'm trying to jam Even out. Even the bass drum, we had to do all the drums all over again, Tasia, for when he put it together. Mm -hmm. Oh, you had to redo it? Carl told him, let me do it. He wouldn't listen. <laughs> hey, man, this is Garage. Sessions episode three. I had a special guest come through for you guys. My dad came through on the drums. He also helped me work on one of the one of the songs, one of the beats. So that was super dope. Get his ear on the bass, and then I play it down on the keyboard. And of course, we dropped some roads and some piano. Then he came up with a horn melody. He just got all kind of melodies. That's the crazy thing. I knew he was gonna come through and play drums. But he came through with the melodies. I was you know? <laughs> he came through with the melodies. A lot of fun. Super fun up in here. Have fun playing drums and, and everything like that. We probably gonna keep playing. Probably gonna play for a little longer. Um, but you know what I'm saying? I see the stream is going. We had a lot of people come through. Great keys beats. Appreciate you for coming through. Uncle Eric, you've been rocking with us pretty much the whole way through. Some uh um we got um we got uh uh catchy noise productions came through uh Carlos Carlos Wild came through um um all my peoples that came through I appreciate you guys Great Keys Catchy Noise my wife was in there Joe Crack the Don um came through today I really appreciate you guys for coming through watching the videos. And uh, make, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Um, and what we're going to do right now is, just like we do at the end of all of our streams, we're just going to play you out. We're going to play you out. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get on these keys. And um, I'm going to play you guys out as we end the stream. I do want to say have a great night, great evening. Uh, God is everything. Um, all praise and all glory to God. And I pray that you guys be blessed. <laughs> when does the stream end? The stream ends when I'm tired, and now I'm tired. Usually I stream. Usually I stream for about three hours, and we we at that three hour. We at that three hour mark. So you put this together. I'm gonna let you guys hear what we made one more time. Oh, I'll tell you what, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Dad, why don't you say hi and bye to the people. Let me put the camera on you one last time. Make y'all real nervous. I was just take a little break. I know, we gonna, I'm gonna, gonna go back on there, but I'm gonna end the stream. I'm gonna end the stream so that because my phone finna die and stuff. Yeah, it was dying over there. I told there's, it there's, says 10%. There's dad and there's wifey. She's trying to get out of the camera. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Say something to the people, dad. Thanks for coming. We hope you guys enjoyed the practice session that we had. And I enjoyed playing. Hopefully we can do better. You know, every time I come over here, I don't get to practice that much, but you know, I have a, a lot of ideas. So sharing with my son and we, we jam out. Peace. Peace! You know exactly what to say. Alright, so peace. Um, let me let me get something. I'll play something out for you guys. I really do appreciate you guys for coming oh, through Jesus. and hanging out with us. Come on, I appreciate y'all.